Alrighty traders, good afternoon, good morning, good evening and welcome to the Pip Grabber Trading Show. My name is Gary Fickard, known to many as the FX Big Dog and this show is all about capturing profits. And we've got a unique strategy chasing off the 20 pips in the market using a cost averaging trading approach. And a lot of people frown at, the, the, at that sort of strategy. We're going to show you today how we go ahead and get into trades, how we go ahead and profit on these trades. But also at the same time, we're going to show you exactly the results that we've been getting using this strategy. So without further ado, traders, we're going to go ahead and get the show on the road. I'll see you right after this. All right, traders, uh, well, welcome to the show. And yes, this is the Pip Grabber Trading Show where we chase off the 20 pips in the market. We talk about a net 20 pips in the market using a cost averaging trading approach. Now, this month alone, we are up 11.77. Uh, uh, Look, uh, don't believe me, check out the results right here. We are up 11.77%. Let me just go ahead and get this up here. There you can see it. 11.77% this month alone. Uh, let's take a look at the pips that we've captured. We've captured right now, so far, 1,454 pips uh, this month. So we're doing pretty good. We had a good month in, uh, you'll see here in uh, November and December, we made 15% last, uh, last month, 15% uh, on each of those months. We still got a few days left of trading. We're probably going to go ahead and catch it. We could possibly catch that and maybe even do better than we did last month. So it's been a great three months so far. Last year, we closed out with 153% in net profits. Now, traders, if you're interested in, if, if, uh, interested in finding out a little bit more about the strategy that we trade and knowing a little bit about our trade copy, uh, please go ahead and check out the description below. All right, check out the description below and see how you can go ahead and connect with us and how we can help you gain profits month over month over month. Now, traders, again, down in the description as well, there's a Telegram channel because we're going to go ahead and place a live trade in today's session. In fact, we're going to place a couple of live trades. Did I say a couple? I said a few. Didn't I say a few? Uh, oh, no. We're going, to we're going to place a few live trades in this session today. Now, we're going to go ahead and place those trades inside that Telegram channel that you can see in the description. There's a link there. And in that link, you'll be able to follow all the trades that we go ahead and trade. Now, make sure, traders, that you are following my right, the, the right uh, Telegram channels. There is, of course, a, a, a lot of scammers out there that are impersonating myself, thinking uh, and making people think that that is me telling them to go ahead and send me money. I would never do that. Just make sure that you are on the right channel. And you can simply go ahead and let me know by sending us an email. Go ahead and send us an email and, and uh, we'll go ahead and confirm that if you're not sure of exactly what channel it is, uh, that we're on, make sure you go ahead and check out uh, the email, this email, info at Traders Network Club, and go ahead and get a confirmation from us. We'll let you know that you're on the right channel. All right, so make sure you're on the right channel. The channel descriptions are below inside the description. So check out the description below. We do have our channel links over there, my FX Big Dog channel link, of course, the Traders Network channel link. Uh, all of that stuff is below there that you can go ahead and connect with. While you're down there, do me a huge favor and go ahead and smash the like button. Now, I know there's going to be more tra traders coming into the room a little later. I'm going to remind you again to smash the like button. But also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you may want to go ahead and do that. There's two channels you want to go ahead and subscribe to. The FX Big Dog Trading or FX Big Dog Trader channel, as well as the, uh, the Traders Network channel. All you've got to do is search the name FX Big Dog and Traders Network, and you'll find these channels. Or simply go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now as you are in on this channel here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on this morning with some trade opportunities that we can go ahead and take a look at this morning, morning as we uh, go ahead and uh, knock out some trade opportunities. I do see a couple of traders out here this morning and I want to go ahead and say uh, good morning to David. Good morning, Robert. We've got Robert in the house. We've got uh, another trader right here. What's it? A limb? Uh, we got uh, uh, another trader says Herb. Good morning, Herb. And we got a one from, uh, there we go, Yun. Yun's in the house this morning as well. Good morning, Yun. All right, well, good morning, everyone. And we'll have a lot more traders rolling in later on this morning. So 
without further ado, let's take a look and see what's going on with the market. Now, just to go ahead and confirm all the trades that we've played so far this year, so far, and last year, we have a 100% success rate. That's right. Every trade that we place with our cost averaging trading approach, we actually have profits 100% on each of those trades. And so you can see right now, I have zero trades open right now. All the trades from last week, we have closed out in profits. And not only do I place trades in this session, but I do broadcast on other YouTube channels as well, all right, uh, for other YouTubers. And when I do that, I do throw in a couple of extra trades. So if you go to the Telegram channel, you'll get those extra trades that I go ahead and place by following the actual setups. Now, if you want to go ahead and use the tool that I'm using right now called the Pip Grabber Trading Tool, check out the description below and see how you can get a hold of the Pip Grabber Trading Tool. Also, you can go straight to our website, tradersnetworkclub.com, and check out the, uh, the Pip Grabber Trading Tool and see if you can get access to that. So you can follow me with these trades. And that tool, once you go ahead and buy and sell, it's automatically going to manage your trades for you. You don't have to do all the heavy lifting. So let's go take a look and see uh, what is going on here this morning as we dig into some trading opportunities. Now, I'm going to go to, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Aussie. Uh, Aussie first. Now, as I, uh, as I look for these uh, trades, I want everyone to make sure that they are uh, that they know that I'm not telling them what to do, all right? I'm just telling you what I'm doing. If you choose to follow me and follow my trades that come through my Telegram channel, well, that's up to you, all right? So I'm not advising you to do what to do, and I'm not advising you to do anything, but other than to, sh to show you what I'm doing with this trade strategy. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. So uh, Aussie, uh, we've got the Aussie, this is Aussie CAD open right here. And if I look at Aussie CAD, We see that Aussie CAD, and I'm going to do some housekeeping here. Clean up some uh, stuff right here. And if I look at the bigger picture right here, I see uh, that we did have a down AB swing. Price moved back up again, hit the 1.618, created a new swing. We had a retrace move, perfect. Then we bounced off this 1.27 right here. So we're still chasing after. This target up here at the top, calling I'm calling it our fourth wave target right here. Price is still chasing after that level right here. All right. And so we holding up at support right here. Clearly, the market is, uh, we might even have a downward uh, trend line right here. Let's take a look at that downward trend line. And let's see that downward trend line is acting as a level of support and resistance. Well, there it is there. Actually, look at that. Perfect. Look how the market's broken through that channel, testing the backside of that channel, and now we'll probably expect the market to go ahead and push bullish. Let's go to a uh, one hour time frame on this. I'm seeing the same thing here. I'm going to go to a 15 minute time frame. Good. We've got a bit of uh, uh, bullish uh, momentum right here on the oscillator on the 15. And remember, traders, all I'm looking for is a, um, is a 20 pip grab, right? So I'm eager, eager, eager to go ahead and actually go long on CAD, uh, Aussie CAD right here. So let's go to Aussie CAD. And I'm going to use my Pip Grabber trading tool right here. And all I do is I go ahead and click the buy button, confirm the buy, and it is automatically placed me into the trade. It's managing my trade. It's got my profit target set up over there. All, this, uh, all the, uh, the targets are set to hidden, which means the target's not going to go, which means the order's not going to go to the broker. So I am in the market. I'm chasing off the 20 pips right here. We'll keep, a tra we'll keep track on exactly what's going on with this trade. Now, once again, traders, if you are if you're uh, following me on the, uh, the, the, uh, the Telegram channel down below, you'll be able to find that trade. The trade will tell you exactly the trade I'm entering in, the price, of course, where we're going to go ahead and close out profits. You'll get all of those notifications. And if we enter new trades, you will not be notified as well through the Telegram channel. So I'm long on Aussie CAD. Let me go ahead and take a look at another trade right here. And uh, let's see here what we have going here. We'll go to the uh, New Zealand CAD. Let's see if we're going to get the same sort of setup on the New Zealand CAD right here. 
again, always doing some housekeeping, right? You got to do some housekeeping because I'm looking at the bigger picture right here. And here is the 1.27 right here. So this is the four hour. Let's, uh, so the one hour, let's go to the four hour. Actually, I'm going to go to the daily now. Take a look at the bigger picture. Traders with the daily setup right here with support down here. We're certainly looking for the uh, the New Zealand cat to go bullish up here right to, to the top. It's it, For me, it's a no-brainer. So we definitely want to see a New Zealand cat go back up here, retest the top right here. And if I go ahead and put a trend line going across the highs right here, look at that. We get in price, come back to retest the backside right here. There's got to be got to be a bounce on this now I think in the short term right here I think we're still bearish let me see if I've got a confirmation here to buy I don't think I do so there would be a trend line going down here so this I'm, I'm looking at the inside swings here is the 1.618 right here. So we're not quite at the support level yet on this. So we're not at a support level yet. Let me clean up these, uh, tri these stuff in the inside here. Do some housekeeping once again. Just so I can see what the heck's going on here on this chart. Sometimes we, uh, we overwhelm ourselves with this indicators charts and and technical analysis and you can't even see the candles what the candles are doing so here we go all right so we go one wave one here got a 1.6 rate down there here we got an inside wave down here okay so this is a daily time frame and we've got a bearish move on the daily let's take a look at the lower time frame right here for our for now, it looks like it wants to uh, go ahead and push north. This is the one hour. The one hour showing a little bit of... I don't have divergence here. I do see an irregular flat here as well. Here we see uh, wave one, two, three, four, five. Go back to the four hour, just get a little bit more information here. Um, not seen. Let's see, do I see something here? I thought I saw a, a bit of a positive divergence here, but nope. It's not. Only if we take out that low, we'll get some positive divergence if the oscillator stays bullish, but it doesn't look like we've got that either. And this is the four hour. I like this irregular flat pattern right here we have. All right, I'm going to stand. I'm going to put a pin in the New Zealand CAD right here. Let's go to US dollar CAD. Take a look at US dollar CAD here. And you've got wave one, two. Inside wave down here. Oh, we've got resistance here at the top. Oh, I like this. We've got resistance right here. Now, we do have news coming out uh, this week uh, for the U.S. I believe we've got the rate decision coming out tomorrow. Here we go. Uh, here are the feds. The feds are looking to raise rates. Uh, sorry, they're keeping the rates unchanged. They are looking to raise rates in March, as close as March. But here we go. They're keeping the rates unchanged for January. Obviously, uh, details in the press conference are going to be important. So we'll see how the market reacts according to the uh, Fed statement and the press conference. But for right now, Feds are talking about um, uh, keeping the rates unchanged, but possibly looking to raise it in March. And they said they will probably do this three times this year. There has been chatted about four times, but there's also been this chat about this is just a finger wagging uh, sort of, uh, um, you know, to scare the market, to get the market to, to get the, to get people to stop spending money to try and control inflation without raising rates. So that. It is a bit of a manipulation. Might be. I don't know. We'll see what happens in March. But let's go here. 
take a look right here. All right, so US dollar CAD, we also got Fed's, uh, uh, we got the central bank uh, decision as well in Canada as well. They also keeping the rates unchanged as well. So both US and that. So this right here, I'm going to go ahead and assume that if this is a wave one, this is my wave three, we're in a wave four. We're also testing a large wave one, two, three. So we would be expecting price to drop back down here. How far do we have? 73 pips. So there's plenty uh, opportunity to the downside. Let's take a look at the one hour. There's a 15 year as well. So if we saw anything happen on the 15, it would be breaking that support. And we look for price to drop back down to about there. That's 58 pips, 59 pips. So we've got a lot of movement to the downside right here. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to, I'm going to put a pin in this one too. And you're probably saying to me, well, Big Dog, what? Why? W what's going on? Well, the deal is this. You can notice right here we're at a support level. All right? We're at a support level. My short-term directional bias is going to be bearish. But because I'm at support right here, I would rather not want to go in and trade that support. All right. So that is that. Oh, Gary, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, my friend. Uh, Gary's finally got the right channel. Good stuff. Um, and yeah, you, you're welcome. You're welcome, bud. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to stand aside on this one right here. Okay. I'm eager to look for a sell on this, but at the moment right now, just because of the way it's set up right here, I'm possibly going to go ahead and stand aside. Let's go to Euro US dollar. Now Euro US dollar has been selling off for a while. And I am looking for a bounce back. So I'm looking for anything that's going to show me some Upside move on Euro USD. It is well oversold. And I'm seeing here wave one, two right here. We're down at the 1.27. I'm going to go ahead and clean up house here as well. Yeah, check this out. So we have wave one, two, and now we're down at the 1.27 right here, and we're getting a little bit of indecision. Uh, we see we're already in an oversold condition. Let me see if I can pick up anything else here. We're not quite at the support right here, but that's fine. We've got internal uh, support here based on this uh, Fibonacci. And so if anything, I would be expecting... Oh, and I think we've got a trend line support right here as well. Uh, not quite. Nope. Nope, not quite. Go down to the lower time frame. Okay, so everything down on the lower time frame is giving me a little more hint. Oh, look at that divergence there. All right, I'm going to buy Euro US dollar. So Euro US dollar right here. I'm going to go ahead and buy Euro US dollar. So I'm long on Aussie CAD and I'm long on uh, Euro US dollar at this point in time. I did say I'm going to put a peg in US dollar CAD. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, and I said New Zealand CAD, also going to put a peg in that one. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in on uh, uh, the chart on the CAD Swiss. Let's take a look at the CAD Swiss right here. And let's see if the CAD Swiss has something here that we can go ahead and look for. All right, let's go to the four hour first. Hmm. We just recently closed out the CAD Swiss. On a sell, or was it a buy? I think it was a buy, actually. Yeah, we closed out a buy, but we did. Let's see here. I like this resistance here. I'm going to go ahead and go into the one hour. Yeah, I'm going to sell the CAD Swiss right here off that resistance. So I'm going to go ahead and sell CAD Swiss right here. And chase off the 20 pip grab on this. 
Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look right here. I'm entering a little bit late on this, on the CAD Swiss. Oh, I'm entering very late in the CAD Swiss. Well, let's see here. Eight pips, yeah. From that resistance, that's eight pips away. But from the high, I'm about 24 pips high. So I'm, I am getting a little late on this, but I'm going to look at this right here. If I'm wrong, all right, if I'm wrong and the market does not go further south, then this is what's going to happen right here. We're going to move then to the next target right here. And that's going to be the 1.27 right here. So this is the deal. If price doesn't go deeper and looks like, it uh, looks like, uh, hang on. Yeah, if we don't, uh, I see only 15 pips here. Darn it. I just saw it now. Hmm. It's only 15 pips left in here. So if the price goes up, there's 27 pips to the one point, no, 35 pips to the 1.27 right here. Okay, so this one right here. We go back to the four hour. I think it's time to clean up house on this chart. Let's go. Let's do a complete clean up. You say, well, big dog, you're ready in. Yeah, I get it. I'm in. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm in. All right. I am got it. I got it. I'm in. So hold on. I got it. I got to first take a look over here. Now, traders, don't go ahead and do this uh, uh, where you um, get in on a trade and now you're second guessing your trade. Bad, bad decisions. All right. Once you're in, you're in. But I do want to go ahead and take a look right here and see uh, if, um, if there's something else that I can take from this right here. So here is the chart. Uh, I'm going to go to the four hour first. And instead of looking at the bigger picture, I'm going to go ahead and focus in on this uh, picture right here. I'm going to go ahead and focus in on this resistance and this support right here. All right, and then uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that if price has tested that support, that support, and we have now resistance up here, here, and possibly there, we should be looking for price to come back up to resistance. So if that's the case, then bullish is the overall trend right now. Let's take a look at a trend line break here. Oh, darn it. I think I made a mistake. Sometimes you need to clean up your charts, man. All right, so this is it. So we're bullish. Okay, we're bullish. And I know I'm, I'm selling right now. We're bullish. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see here. Here's wave one. Got an inside wave structure right here. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. This is internal right here. One, two. Okay, so we're looking for price to finish off our swing structure right here. So this is where we're looking for the fifth wave internal swing. So now I'm going to go ahead and mark off one. Oh, don't know. This was four. Price came down a little bit lower right here. Now we're looking for a rally up here. Okay, this makes me feel a little bit better. I'll tell you why it does. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. Well, let's see, at 25 pips, I just need 25 pips, uh, 20 pips. Okay, backside of the trend line, 25 pips. I'm already in, some, in the money on this one right here. Let's take a look here. All right, so my Aussie CAD trades are working out pretty good. I'm in the money uh, at the moment right now on the CAD Swiss, so I can go ahead and close out at break even or at least a bit of money. All my trades are paying out pretty, pretty solid right now, so I'm not looking too bad. But let's go to uh, let's go back down to the 15 minute on this. This is where my concern lies here. If I go to the 15, then I see this as an internal wave one. 
in wave three up here. So which means that Ken Price, hang on, yeah, let's just look at this. All right, there it is there. So there's wave one, three, and so this is this is possibly a short dip, then a rally. If you look at over this, this is going to be a short retracement, and this is my problem. My problem here is that when you look at the four hour time frame right here, all right, we look at the four hour time frame, you can see that oh no worries. We should be coming back all the way to the backside of the trend line right here and then rally. Now, look at the oscillator down below. Oscillator really has given us a bullish uh, positive divergence. So we know that uh, the price is going to push north. The, pro the problem here that traders don't see is what's happening, happening on the lower time frames. If you take a look at the lower time frame and you see the lower time frame, you actually see a five-way stress uh, or at least a, uh, a an incomplete five-way structure right here, which tells me that we're going to probably see uh, the Swiss, uh, the Cat Swiss, rally up for a final rally up here at the top before I get my 20 pips right here, which means that price will go against me. I'll probably enter a second entry point, and then on the way down then, I'll probably make, my, make profit on this. So if I don't make money on this one right here, it's probably going to be the second move. Now, this is where, where if you look at this, you go, well, shouldn't you be going ahead and buying long? Uh, because if price does move down here, you would probably get a second entry point. I'm gonna, I don't even think we're going to get there. No, it's about seven pips down, eight pips down left. If I've got eight pips left, what am I in here for? I'm currently up about... Uh, how many pips are we up? Three pips? Almost two point... Yeah, three pips. So at most, I'm going to get on this... Is probably around about um, 11 pips. And then uh, after that, price is going to turn around and start heading back up to the uh, target right here at the top. Uh, you see the 50 minute time frame already going to oversold right here. So I would I would probably think that my the best option for me right now on this thing right here is to go ahead and take my profit, take my three pip profit, get the heck out of Dodge, and jump in and reverse and start going long. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's go see if we can get another like five pips on that. All right, because we're really greedy. And then we're going to go ahead and reverse and go long. Let's just take a look at a trend line going up here. All right, so it is breaking through that trend line. But we've got support coming off of this area right here. I don't see much. Oh, I don't see much more than this. And we may may even hold up at that at that at that trend line there. So I don't see more than this. I mean, could the price go down to this trend line? I mean, we could. Hmm, interesting. What news is coming out today? Let's take a look at the news. This morning we've got, um, nope, uh, not much news coming out this morning. Everything is dependent on what's happening tomorrow. So tomorrow's a big day. Traders, let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swing this trade around. I'm going to go ahead and close out this trade, take my profit, and I'm going to go long on CAD Swiss. Um, I think I'm going to get into a very good position right here. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out that position. So I'm going to use my tool right here. I'm slightly in the money on that. I'm going to close out my CAD Swiss right here. There it is. Close it out. Take my profit on that. And then I'm going to, just, I'm going to swing it. I'm going to, go, I'm going to go bullish. Change my mind on that. I'm going to go bullish on that. Um, so we took about four, uh, three or four pips out of that trade. Uh, it was actually a mistake. Uh, we should have dug, uh, dug deeper into the analysis 
uh, because when I did that, I actually uh, I was looking too much at the larger picture instead of focusing in on the on the sub swings. And the sub swings right now tells me that we've got a better chance of making our twenty pips going long than we are going short. And so what I'm going to do is, and, and again, I'm not saying we're not going to profit on the short because we can enter a second trade at the one point two seven and make our twenty pips going down again. But it's going to take us longer to get there. So we, I'm just looking at this now as a shorter route to see profits a lot quicker by going in long instead of short, because short you'll make you 20 per profit, but you're going to have to have the market go against you first at a second entry point, and then go ahead and expect a corrective move inside that move. I'm going to bank in more on the market's inside swing on the 15 minute time frame, where the price has shown me a, a wave a full pullback, and now I'm expecting wave five to go ahead and take off. So that to me is going to be a better call. I'm going to hold that trade. And so I'm long. So let's go ahead and sum it up right here. I'm currently uh, long on CAD Swiss. I am long on Euro US dollar. And I am currently long on Aussie CAD as well. Those are the three trades. I put a pin in the US dollar CAD. And I also put a pin in, let's see, a US dollar CAD. I don't know. Let's take a look at US dollar CAD. I put a pin in on a New Zealand CAD as well. But let's take a look again at US dollar CAD. Oh, now that we're up here at the top, wait a minute, traders. Now that we've gone ahead and bounced back up again and we're at this resistance here, this is a different ball game. A complete different ball game right here. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to sell US dollar CAD with the expectation of a price move down to the downside. Now we could go ahead and just pop above that previous high which is not too far away where we're trading right now. If we look at price, price is trading at 26.51. That high is at the 26.58. So we could push up a little higher. But we're at a good spot right here. Let's see if we uh, if price moves down from there. If price comes back down to retest the support again down here, we're going to go for 30, for 30 pips. If we go ahead and test that support, we're looking at 26. Traders, guess what? I'm going to now sell at the US dollar, uh, uh, US dollar CAD. I'm going to go ahead and sell US dollar CAD. All right. Selling US dollar CAD just because I like where it's at right now. I like this resistance. If it goes a little bit higher, that's fine. We'll get back in again. But I like this resistance. And with price moving sideways, we've got no news coming out right here. So I'm expecting price to stay inside that range. And if it does stay inside this range, we we'll, should come back down here to retest that support again. And that should give us a 20 profit on that trade. So this is where it is. This is where we're at. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, let's see if I made the right decision on the CAD Swiss right here. All right. Remember, we swung this trade around. Look for it to go long. Now, keep it in mind, if I actually think about it right here, what have I just done now by, by entering these trades? So let's go back over here and let's look at the... Uh, the effect of US oil. So US dollar CAD right now, if I look at US dollar CAD, I can see this that we're currently in, uh, let's see here. We're currently in on a short on US dollar CAD. That means that I'm expecting um, oil to push up, Canadian to rally. I'm uh, buying on a Swiss CAD. That means I'm expecting oil to rally against the, uh, or the oil and, and Canadian to rally. And then I'm uh, buying on CAD, uh, Aussie CAD. Now that's a complete opposite. That means I'm expecting weakness out of in uh, out of oil or Canadian dollar, and that's why uh, we're going to rally on uh, the Aussie CAD. So if that's the case right here, let's take a look at U.S. oil. Let's take a quick squeeze at U.S. oil right here. And U.S. oil is actually trending down, and we're at the top of resistance here. We had a slight breakout right here. Here is a uh, an inside trend line drawn across. We're in a slight breakout, and we're now testing resistance right here. So regardless of this rally that we're seeing here in U.S. oil, this might be, and again, this is a 15-minute time frame, this might be a short-term rally as it continues to look to go ahead and sell off even further down south. So this is a short-term rally in a correction move, a zigzag correction move. And so we should be seeing oil fall down. Now, if oil is going to sell, sell off, 
then that means I'm going to profit on those trades that I'm actually looking at oil to weaken. And the only one I'm trading for oil weakness is Aussie CAD. So Aussie CAD should pay off. But if oil does continue to rally, then maybe we'll see those other pairs profit as well before it goes ahead and before we go ahead and get out on that trade as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how oil to, you know, competes with this resistance right here and whether we do hold in and sell off. If it breaks through, then I'll be making money on two of my trades. The other one will have to go ahead and enter a second trade and we'll make money on that on a correction move as well. So either way, I think we're in good shape right here, right? We're in good shape right here. This is the uh, setup that we have. Short US dollar CAD. Uh, we are long CAD Swiss, long Aussie CAD. And then finally, we are long on Euro US dollar. Traders, that pretty much wraps up the session for today. I want to go ahead and remind those that jo just joined us late to make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Uh, smash the like button. Follow us on the uh, on the channels, two channels, um, FX Big Dog, as well as the Traders Network channel. Follow us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. Smash the like button while you before you leave. Go ahead and make sure you smash the like button, especially if you like the content, you like what we're doing here in these sessions. These are live trade sessions, live trades that have been taking place as well. So make sure you go check it out. And don't forget that you can follow my trades inside my Telegram channel. Just check out the link below. Look for the uh, the uh, Traders Network channel. Uh, this is a Telegram channel. And you'll be able to follow those trades in the Telegram channel. All the trades are sent there. Entry points, stop loss, not stop loss, but entry points, currency pair, direction, all of that good stuff down below. Check it out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is FX Big Dog signing off.